back to Mr. Obsolete's Vintage Homesteading. Well, we got more of this tree to cut up here. It's kind of interesting because the brush was really thick here. and I thought I only had one or two trees here, but I actually have three. I've got one here, and the big one here, and one that blew down behind us. So we actually had three trees in here. And so anyway, this will be part two. We'll do some cutting and then we'll go back and take the smaller branches off, dead branches off with an axe and do some more cutting. So I'll be back when the saw's warmed up. You can see that old Pro Mac is really powerful. Next thing you can do is come over here and take off the small branches with the axe. Well, we got our stray Mr. Arangi cat here to help us do our logging today. Say hi. There you go. Oops. <laughs> okay, well, let's get busy. This is a killer axe. This thing only weighs one and a quarter pounds, and you can see it just slices right through this stuff. It 
to take a few more wax on this one. Two wax. Okay, well, we'll grab the saw and start cutting. Well, this is why I use the McCulloch mid-size max more than any other saw. Super reliable, very powerful and fast cutting, simple and easy to work on, almost never need any repairs. My number one saws. So we'll get some of this stuff loaded up and be back. Well, we'll start using our picaroon.
Well, we'll get loaded up and be back. Well, we got all but four pieces of wood in the trailer out of that tree. That's pretty darn good. We're using our trusty but rusty 1960 Montgomery Ward's square tractor. So anyway, we'll get headed out. See why vintage is best for me. These old McCulloch's 60cc are real performers. And I hadn't run this off for quite some time because we haven't been able to get out and do any wood cutting. Mrs. O had been bunged up so, for a while, but anyway, this thing had sat for months and months. It started on seven poles. This does not have a purge valve. Well, I get a, my little helper here. That's a McCullough kitty. Anyway, it's a 60cc. You got a 24 inch bar on it. A 3 8 chisel bit. Works really good. About halfway through the tree, though, I had uh, some sparks fly. I did hit something and probably a rock embedded in the tree trunk or something like that. I could tell the cutting slowed down just a little bit. but. You know, I like to use stuff that works, and there's lots and lots of ways to sharpen chains. A lot of guys like to spend hours and hours filing them and trying different stuff, and hey, that's a good hobby, but it ain't for me. I'm into quick and dirty, and this is the answer. This is a furred two-in-one file. It cuts the tooth, and it cuts the raker at the same time, and this being just slightly dull, I can go ahead and sharpen this thing in probably two or two and a half minutes max. It's a really, really easy and fast. Let's put it in there and see if I can get my McCullough Kitty here to move out of the way. Lay it on there like this. Cutting, if it's a little dull, it'll have kind of a raspy sound and soothe it smooths out. You know the tooth is super sharp. And it is. So, anyway, you know, everybody has their own choices on their saws and stuff. Started with McCulloch's and they're still my favorite saw. I do the best job of any of them. Close second is my Pioneer's. But, there again, just using the minimum amount of tools I was able to handle that whole tree. Got the Picaroon here. One of the best things I ever had. Also with this, this is an Evansville axe. And it's only one and a quarter pounds with the handle. You got a nice sharp edge on it. I put a well back. And you can see how easily it takes those branches. Old dead branches are hard to cut off. And this thing really takes them off quick. So there you go. Vintage is best for me and for many others, especially McCulloch's. So we'll see you on the next exciting vintage video in a couple of weeks.